What is a loopback NAT policy? A loopback a loop back NAT policy allows computers from within the, ne the network to access a web server using its public IP address. Um, that's what it does. Let's look at the configuration. If you're coming from anywhere, and if you're destined for the web server's public IP address, and you are specifying HTTP, then I will translate your source to X1, I'll translate your destination to the IP address of the web server, and I won't do anything to the service. I won't translate it. So we're translating the source and we're translating the destination. We're translating the destination so that the packet could eventually hit the web server, because that's the goal. We want to access the web server. Why then are we translating the source to X1? Um, let's put it this way. As far as the computers that are within the LAN subnet know, the computers in the LAN subnet knows that it's only talking to this IP address, the IP, the public IP address of the DMZ web server. Um, so from the computer's perspective, once again, it's, uh, session its conversation is between the computer type and it's between the ip address of the firewall not the ip address of the web server the the computer that is in the lan subnet does not know that the uh ip address of the web server is 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. Once again, uh, from the computer's perspective, it thinks that the IP address of the web server is this, the X1 IP address. So if um, we don't translate the source to X1, um, the DMZ web server will respond to the computer itself, not to x1 so from the dmz uh, web server's perspective it is receiving a packet from x1 which is the firewall if we don't translate that packet and keep the source as original then the dmz web server will send its response packet to the original ip address of the computer itself and the computer itself would receive that packet and say or think I did not send a message to you uh, Mr. 10.10.10.10 I have no idea what you're responding to goodbye so the computer will just kind of reject that packet or drop that packet because as far as the computer knows it's only talking to x1 so when a new device comes in and say i mean a new device to the uh to the client that you know requests that web page um, when 10.10.10.10 responds to that computer it's like no i wasn't talking to you i have no conversations with you because in the computer's perspective it only has conversations with X1 IP. Um, so, so why do we translate the source? So that the web server sends its response to the firewall. It sends its response to the IP address of X1, which is the firewall. And once the firewall receives that response packet, what it will do is it would do what's called a reverse NAT. What that means is that it's going to undo its NAT or kind of do like a backwards flip. So if it gets a packet from the DMZ server destined for the X1 uh, IP address, then translate the source to the LAN subnets 
and then translate the destination of that packet to x1 IP. So once again, if how will that NAT policy work for that uh, response packet from the DMZ web server? The DMZ web server sends its response response packet to X1. Firewall gets it. Firewall says, "Okay, um, you're responding to an NAT policy, which uh, which was this, or or this NAT policy will be applied this policy to send that to you and to send it back to the original person." We're just going to undo that map, which we did initially. So we're going to change this. Uh, well, the response, this would be the source, and then this would be the destination. It, so kind of like a flip. If this is the source, then I'll translate it to its original, uh, you know, destination. So the source of that response would be 10.10.10.10 initially, and then when translated, the source of that response will be the IP address of X1. Then the destination of that response packet initially was uh, the IP address of X1. We will translate that destination packet to that IP address of the computer from one of these, uh, from this subnet. Uh, hope that makes sense. Something's not clear. Uh, let me know. 